Did you know that the icy wilderness of the Arctic Circle might hold more than just snow and polar bears? Imagine a gateway nestled within this frozen expanse, a portal not crafted from high-tech machinery, but from simple mirrors. It sounds like a page ripped from a science fiction novel, yet some accounts suggest it's a reality born from a unique experiment conducted in the remote corners of Russia. Welcome to the enigmatic realm of the Kozarev mirrors, a concept that dares to challenge our understanding of time and space. Picture yourself stepping into a chamber lined with mirrors, the cold Arctic air replaced by an inexplicable warmth. As you settle into the strange environment, you feel a sense of disorientation, as if you've been swept into a cosmic whirlpool. Suddenly, you're caught in a storm of memories, each as vivid as a painted canvas. You see yourself as a child, the green fields of your hometown stretching out before you. The scenes shift like a kaleidoscope, revealing the tapestry of your life, your first love, your graduation, and your child's birth. It's as if you're an observer of your own life. It seems far-fetched, doesn't it? But what if our perception of time is not as solid as we believe? What if time is not just a ticking clock, but a form of energy that can be harnessed and observed? The participants of this experiment, ordinary people like us, claim to have journeyed through time. Can you imagine the thrill of seeing the past unfold before your eyes? Or the awe of peering into the future? It's a thought that sends shivers down the spine, isn't it? So prepare your mind, because we're about to embark on a journey that will twist your understanding of reality and time. But remember, as we delve into this world where mirrors reflect more than just our image, the line between truth and fiction might blur. After all, reality is often stranger than fiction. Let's journey to the Arctic Circle, where the biting cold and the endless expanse of white snow paint a picture of isolation and mystery. The year is 1990, and in a remote village, a group of scientists from the Russian Academy of Medical Science embarked on an extraordinary journey into the unknown. Their mission? To set up an installation of Kozadev mirrors, aiming to harness and direct the elusive energy of time. Imagine the scene. The scientists, bundled up against the Arctic chill, placing an ancient symbol of Trinity into the mirror installation. As they stepped back, they witnessed a shocking view. A force field emanated from the setup, an unexpected phenomenon that sparked curiosity and speculation. Could it be? Had they successfully tapped into the energy of time itself? But the experiment was far from over. Fueled by this irresistible glimpse into the potential of the mirrors, the scientists pressed on. The initial fear of the force field gave way to bold exploration, and the experiment entered a new phase, human participation. The participants who dared to spend time within the mirror installation reported various extraordinary experiences. But before we dive into the personal accounts, let's pause for a moment. Is there any evidence to support these astounding claims? Or are these accounts simply the product of overactive imaginations and the power of suggestion? As we delve deeper into the mystery of the Kozadev mirrors, we'll attempt to separate fact from fiction and uncover the truth behind this fascinating experiment. We must first get to know the man behind the idea of the mirrors. Meet Nikolai Alexandrovich Kozadev, a Soviet Russian astronomer and astrophysicist who was once a prisoner in a Soviet prison. It was within these cold, harsh walls that he came up with many extraordinary theories. But let's go back to the beginning. Born in 1908 in the cultural heart of Russia, St. Petersburg, Kozadev was not your ordinary child. He was a prodigy, showing an early aptitude for the mysteries of the cosmos. His life seemed to be on a promising trajectory, but fate had other plans. During Stalin's purges in 1936, Kozadev was sent to prison for 10 years for counter-revolutionary activity. His crime? Daring to think differently. In a cruel twist of fate, most of his colleagues who faced similar accusations paid the ultimate price. Kozadev, however, survived only to be handed another 10-year sentence for hostile propaganda. As he faced the reality of his extended sentence, he found himself with an abundance of one thing, time. In the solitude of his prison cell, under the constant shadow of oppression, Kozadev began to contemplate the mysteries of the universe. He found himself drawn to the concept of time, 
not just as a dimension or a measure of change, but as a potent energy source. Could it be harnessed? Could it be manipulated? Could he, in some way, use it to go back and alter his own destiny? Following his release from the harsh confines of a Soviet prison, Kozadev embarked on a journey of scientific exploration that would challenge the conventional understanding of the universe. One of his most notable observations was a strange mist over a lunar crater in 1958. From his small, cluttered lab, Kozadev peered through his telescope and concluded what he saw was evidence of volcanic activity on the moon. Initially dismissed as a flight of fancy, his claim was later confirmed by subsequent lunar missions, vindicating Kozadev and proving that his theories were ahead of their time. But Kozadev's work extended far beyond the moon. His journey into the mysteries of the universe continued with something as simple as a pendulum. Picture Kozadev in his lab, the room filled with the rhythmic ticking of the pendulum. It wasn't the motion that intrigued him, but the invisible forces at play. He believed these forces were a manifestation of torsion fields, a concept that was as revolutionary as it was controversial. To understand torsion, consider a wind-up toy. When you wind up the toy, you're twisting its internal spring, and it stores energy. When you let go, the spring unwinds and releases this energy, causing the toy to move. Imagine the toy springing to life, its movements a testament to the unseen forces at work. Kozadev's fascination with torsion fields led him to conduct extensive research on variable stars, focusing on their brightness fluctuations. He used his pendulums to detect what he believed was torsion created by these distant celestial bodies twinkling in the vast expanse of the cosmos. His observations further solidified his belief in the existence and influence of torsion fields. Kozadev proposed a revolutionary idea. Time is not a passive dimension, but an active force that shapes the universe. He believed that time creates energy that impacts matter and space. To illustrate this, imagine time as wind. The wind, time, shapes the landscape, space, and moves objects, matter, leaving a trail of change in its wake. Furthermore, Kozadev suggested that time could have different densities. It means that time could flow at various speeds in different places, much like how wind can blow gently in one area and fiercely in another. He even proposed that time could be sped up, slowed down, and most intriguingly, reversed. He also believed a mysterious interaction between time and the human brain could explain phenomena like intuition or foresight. Kozadev envisioned a device that could bend the fabric of time, a machine that could offer the remarkable power of time travel. Picture this, Kozadev in his lab, surrounded by aluminum sheets, the metal he found most responsive to time energy. He meticulously shaped the metal into a spiral, a form inspired by the Fibonacci sequence found in nature's spirals. It was the heart of his device, a prototype that he claimed could bend time at the microscopic level. Imagine the anticipation, the thrill of potential discovery, as he claimed to see a fleeting 10 seconds into the future through this device. But Kozadev's ambition didn't stop there. He dreamed bigger, envisioning a larger version of his device. Picture a capsule, its interior walls entirely covered by the special mirror, a cocoon that could accelerate time within its confines. The idea was as audacious as it was groundbreaking. A person stepping into this capsule might be able to glimpse or even visit the future. But just as he was on the brink of testing this new machine, on a cold day in February 1983, Kozadev's journey was abruptly cut short. His sudden mysterious death left his work on the device unfinished, a symphony with its final notes unwritten. His dream of a time-traveling mirror remained unfulfilled, but inspired the next generation of scientists to keep looking for answers. Let's journey back to the Arctic Circle. The hum of anticipation punctuates the biting cold of the Arctic air as the scientists prepare to test their theory. Using Kozadev's theories and sketches as their guide, they managed to construct the device he envisioned. It's a metal spiral-shaped construction, the size of a tiny room, 
a testament to the genius of a man who dared to challenge the conventional understanding of time. Each step into the mirror installation is a step into the unknown, a world where time might not be as linear as we believe. One participant, a man with a keen interest in the mysteries of the universe, steps into the mirror installation. As he settles into the strange environment, he feels a sense of disorientation, as if he's floating in a void. Suddenly, he experiences a rush of images, a whirlwind of scenes from his past. It's as if he's watching a movie of his life, each scene filled with vivid details and intense emotions. Another participant, a woman with a skeptical mind, enters the mirror chamber. She wants to dismiss the experiment as a hoax because her scientific mind demands hard evidence. But as she spends time within the installation, she experiences a profound sense of peace and tranquility. She feels as if she's floating, her mind free from the worries and stresses of the world outside. She emerges from the experiment with a renewed sense of purpose her skepticism replaced by a sense of wonder and curiosity. These personal accounts, while subjective, provide a fascinating insight into the potential effects of the causative mirrors. The mirrors might have the ability to tap into our subconscious, allowing us to access memories and emotions, usually hidden deep within our minds. So we are left with more questions than answers. Can time truly be manipulated? Do the mirrors hold the key to unlocking the secrets of the universe? Or are they simply a reflection of our desire to transcend the boundaries of our existence? The answers remain elusive, hidden within the mirrored walls of the Kozarev installation, waiting to be discovered.